Hello, hello again, my T and Taro family. And thank you guys for tuning in to another episode. This is going to be a general read. So it may or may not resonate with you. Take what does, oop, leave what doesn't. Energy is full, so feel free to flip and switch it. Put yourself where you fit up in it, the tower. There's some big changes going on. It was at the bottom of the deck, and it just jumped out. So somebody has some big changes going on. Change, change, change. You may be seeing 555 five, five right now. But there are some big changes going on for you guys collective, okay? Let's see what message spirit has for you at this time. And then jump straight on into it. Please hit the like, subscription, comment. All the good shit, okay? Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you are interested in booking a personal, all my information is down below. You can all um, go over to my website or you can book or buy any of my products. Everything is there below. Okay, guys. So let's see what message spirit has for you today. What do you need to know right now for your greatest and highest good? This is for the collective. What's going on for my collective? What is the first card out? King of Swords. You may be dealing with Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. Or somebody just standing in their power right now, ready to cut shit off of you. Not coming with truth and clarity here, honesty here. Somebody may want to speak up. Some type of communication coming in here, okay? Tell me more. Okay, so somebody wants to speak up and they want to talk about some type of judgment here. Yeah, so, okay, so this person wants to come in and talk about this heartbreak. This person could have possibly hurt, broke your heart or you could have, this person could have broke your heart or you could have broken this person's heart, okay? But they want to come in and they want to talk about this. Okay, they are hoping that that judgment is on their side here. This person wants to move away from emotional conflict and move towards something peaceful here. This person sees a future here with you. Tell me about this King of Swords here. Tell me about the King of Swords. Yeah, the King of Swords loves you, okay? King of Swords has a lot of emotions and feelings for you guys, okay? You could be dealing with Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Um, Gemini here. Also, uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Tell me about this judgment here. This person has a lot of love, a lot of emotions. They want to come pour their feelings out. Tell me about the judgment spirit. Yeah, this person wants to hold on to you, okay? This person, this person is hoping that you want to hold on to them. This person could have been moving slow in the past to get their shit together. Tell me about this three of swords spirit. Yeah, there you go. They see you as a soulmate, queen of swords here. They know they, they broke your heart. There's a, yeah, and you're carrying some type of burden here. They know they left you with a bunch of burdens and a, a lot of heartbreak here. But this person now realizes they have a lot of love for you. Tell me more, spirit. Okay, this person could have been dealing with a queen of pentacles here, a karmic here. So there could have been um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio here, or um, as well as a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Doesn't necessarily have to have those signs here. But we do have a soulmate connection here, King of Swords and the Queen of Swords here. And then we have two other females, three females here. Somebody was juggling, was they not? Tell me about this judgment in the four, four of pentacles. Yeah, so this person wants to hold on to you. They want to come in and make this offer here. Okay, it could be two females. This person could see you as somebody that's very loving and very strong and convicted because they're, these are both upright. And then this karmic here. I do feel like this person had a lot of love for you. They also have the ace of swords here. They want to come in and bring you some type of truth and clarity. They also want to bring you some type of new offer here. This person wants to heal. It could be an Aquarius that you're dealing with. This person wants to heal the situation. This person sees you as wish fulfillment. This person could have been lying, sneaky, and deceptive in the past. But this victory, this person wants victory and success with you. They see a victory and success with you in a relationship. They want something long-term, stable, and committed here. We're going to check on that in a minute. Okay, yeah, this person wants to heal. This person wants a marriage with you. This person wants to come in and make you some type of offer, a love offer here. Okay, they want to pour their love out to you. And they want to manifest this new beginning. This person's been to themselves right now. They've been healing. They've been working on themselves. They're in hermit mode. So this person finds emotional stability with you. They want to come in and talk to you. They want to come in and quickly and have some type of conversation and possibly express how they're feeling here. They're going to put in some type of work, some type of action here. They see you single, stable, shining brightly, doing your shit. And they're watching from out in the cold. This person no longer wants to be out in the cold. They want to bring justice here. They're going to come towards you quickly. Um, they're either going to reach out, send you some type of text message. They're going to call you. It could pop up at your house here, okay? 
But they were they were all up in their head, okay? They're no longer hung up in their head. The person wants to come and bring you some type of stability here. They know that you're guarding defenses. They see you as the king of pentacles here, okay? They see you as the king of pentacles. Could be dealing with a Taurus, um, Capricorn, or a Virgo here. But they they know that you're guarded to this relationship, this equal give and take here. But they're going to come in and make some type of romantic gesture. They have been in their head about how quickly they should come in because they are afraid that there's going to be a lot of fight and a lot of argument. And they don't, they don't really want to argue and fight with you. But they know that they have to face their judgment here. They know they have to face their judgment. But they're going to come in and bring you this passion in the beginning here. And they're coming in quickly. They have been all in their heads, overthinking about how to make this apology. So until they get how to come in, they're just watching. But they do see something long-term step one committed here with you. The Ten of Pentacles here, they want, they want to build with you. This person is hoping that luck is on their side. With the will of fortune and they choose you as this lover here they know they were slow in the past but they want to put an end to the past and they want to start something new now okay now they want to come in and invest whatever regrets they have a lot of regrets about the past and about not making the offer and they understand why you why you're blocking them and why you walked away they know why you're standing in your queen of wands energy here okay <laughs> but they want to come in and they want to return they want something equal give and take here so they're getting their strength up to come in and make you this offer for teamwork here. They want to work on it. They're going to put the work in. And they want to move away from emotional conflict or something stable and peaceful here. They don't want to fight. They don't want to argue. They may have children. They may grab their child and come too, okay? But this person sees the future here with you. They don't want to be manipulated. They have a lot of regrets. Okay, this person is very sad. They're very regretful about how they treated you and what they did to you in the past. This person now wants to come in as husband or wife material as the emperor. Big boss man, big boss lady here, right? They see happiness here with you. Okay? This person knows that they stabbed you in the back. There was a lot of lies and deception here. But they know that they're, that you are their wife, the empress here, okay? <laughs> you guys are both upright. They know, they know that this is a spiritual connection here. And that you are their world. And they know that they have to make some changes. Okay? They know they have to make the changes now. If they, they're trying to come towards you because they know that you're intuitive. They know that they they know that they can't just get anything over on you, and they're afraid that you may not accept their offer. So this is why they keep going back and forth here in their head. But they are going to persevere. They're coming towards you, baby. They're listening to their intuition, and they want to reconcile. They're going to come in and they're going to pour out their emotions and their feelings here. Okay, they're going to let you know why they were confused and why they were in this devilish energy in the past. Okay, they're go they're going to tell you if there was other people. They're going to let you know. They're going to tell you everything that needs to be said. Because they are obsessing over you and this new beginning here, okay? Like I said, they want to take this leap of faith here with you. And they want to balance things out. If this resonated with you, let me know, guys. That was the whole deck. Um, please leave me a like, comment, share. If you'd like to leave me a tip or donation, that is greatly appreciated. Because this is my only source of income. And it means a lot to me. If you'd like to book a personal and find out more about your situation... That information is down below in the description box. If you'd like to buy any of my products, all that is down below. Everything is handmade and blessed and charged in the store, guys. All the descriptions of everything is down below. Excuse me. And also all the descriptions for the bracelets and different stuff is there in the website as well. Um, I think that's it for now, guys. So you keep rocking with me. I'm going to keep rocking with you. And until next time, mwah, love, light, and peace, my people. Bye, babies.